Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon and today I'm going to show you the unboxing, the overview, the spoiler free intro to the game The Secret Lab. This is the exit of the game and this is the Spiel des Jahres winning Kennerspiel 2017. Now it's actually got the shortest amount of information I've seen on the back of an exit game that I can recall. And there's something else I want to talk to you about which I have spotted on the front covers of all the other exits. They've got a time and they've got this uh, kind of white line. Here you have got this uh, lightning, which is an easy spot. You've got a time down there. Symmetry of the night, uh, there's a clocked face there. There's a line here. I'm wondering if it makes like an IP address or something. Line here, there's a clock here and another line. Even though there's like this, uh, this kind of like clock you can just see in the background. And again, a line, catacombs of horror. Again, there's a kind of candle effect. And again, this line. I've no idea what it's about, but it's just something I'm picking up on. Even games that are yet to be released also have it. Now, again, this is like I said, it's from 2017. It's the first three that came out. I've played The Abandoned Cabin, which is also one of those first three. And there's something else I've spotted, which is the most recent one, um, uh, Zed Man and Express. That's kind of follow up to a game I'll be talking about in due course. Uh, if you haven't uh, already checked out, uh, there will be a review coming out for The Cemetery of the Night and also for Theft on the Mississippi. And I'll be working through the rest of the games which I've just shown you. Additionally, if you had seen on Theft of the Mississippi, it has Ralph involved. It's not just the Brants, uh, but also uh, he's also in the Catacombs of Horror, which also came out the same year. But uh, for example, that um, Orient Express one, he's not involved in that. So back to the secret lab. As volunteers for medical research, research study, you report to a lab as instructed, but no one is there except for you. Vapor rises from a test tube and you start feeling dizzy. When you wake again, the door is locked and you discover a notebook and a strange disc. So again, being one of the first three, I'm wondering how uh, original, you know, how innovative uh, that first one will be, knowing uh, typically that uh, they've, well, I think every time, to be honest, it's full of surprises. Whatever they do, it's always been fresh and unpredictable, which is why the exit games have lost as well as they have, I think. And also, I'd probably, I'd say one of the best because it's the most. And the other ones can get a little bit samey, whereas these guys always keep it very fresh. And I'm just so impressed at how they've managed to do it. There's some times where I think, OK, well, if they've done it that way, then they'll change it up slightly. But I have a, a fair understanding as to probably what they're going to do with it. Again, being on the first three, um, I'm very keen to see uh, where they initially took this, so to speak. So this one is apparently one to two hours. Sometimes they say um, 90 minutes. So I'm curious how this one goes. I've been soloing more of these, actually, to be honest. And I'm curious to see how they play, uh, especially because yeah, you might have to think about it differently. So have the roller decks here. We can obviously look on the back to the thing there. You can always do that in advance. This, like a, a oh, that's got a, a clock kind of piece. You've got this notebook. Now, also, this is Franz von Wingle, the uh, the artist, which is very interesting. You've got your classic uh, stop cards here as well. So we can open them up quickly and tell you just about how the overview of the game works, if you're not familiar with that. So what's the game about? Easy money. You probably thought to yourselves and you discovered the newspaper and seeking subjects for a medical study. So you signed up right away for the next available appointment. You show up on time at the address you receive over the phone. You enter a modern laboratory, and there's all kinds of odd specific vessels and apparatuses around you. But something is not right. There's no one there except you. Suddenly, vapor rises from a test tube, and you start feeling dizzy. You wake up with a throbbing head. You quickly discover that the door has been locked behind you. On the table, you find a notebook and an odd disc that was not there before. The lab seems to be filled with riddles. You're able to escape only if you manage to solve all of the riddles in time. Consequences, uh, sorry, otherwise you'll feel, fall victim to this bizarre experiment with consequences you'd rather not think about. So you're going to have these cards. They're going to be the A's through to X in this case. Sometimes they vary the amount. You've got answer cards. You're going to be discovering what you think the answer could be using this roll of X. It's going to point to a certain number such as two, and you're going to turn it over and see if that's correct. And it might tell you to reveal some more cards. So if you're stuck, there's normally 10 puzzles. We can double check that. But normally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to have one. So you're going to have these basically to keep an eye out. And if ever you get stuck, you can use the clues. Now, whenever you turn over a clue card and actually you did get what you needed to do out of it, you don't actually have to be bearing in mind that clue cost. The reason that's of use is because when you actually uh, complete the game, you're going to write in well, who played. You can say when you played it, um, how long it took to do it, how many help cards you used. In this case, you're going to get some stars. You can say the coolest and the most trickiest riddle. 
which normally is uh, uh, what I find is the same thing. And then you try and get your stars most out of 10. So uh, just as I quickly check that, um, okay. Right, okay, so there's also, for example, this game I mentioned, The Abandoned Cabin and Pharaoh's Tomb, which also came out the same year as well. Now, there's another thing I want to talk to you about quickly, and that relates to uh, when it's opened it up. And whenever you use cars, normally it tells you, you know, you no longer need them anymore. Slightly differently to some other games whereby it can be a bit more explicit. So a bit more vagueness can be going on here. Now, this is the second hardest game I'll be playing to date. So I'm curious to see how this one stands out because that one was pretty touch mark and cool. But this time around, I'm playing them a little bit more uh, in order of difficulty. So I'm hoping that will work towards me. So again, you've basically got your setup here. And now you're going to try and find anything that starts off with where you want to be going with. So you might want to open that book and crack on. But I don't want to rush through that right now. But again, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be, of course, um, updated on every other video that's coming along, including reviews, as well as ensuring you share and check out those comments. I do reply quickly, as well as checking out the description, as I might have more information there for you. Well, thanks very much. And you hope you found that of interest. I'll start packing everything away and uh, start trying on uh, some of these puzzles. I get onto it. OK, well, thanks so much for watching. All the best. Bye for now.